They are some of the faces from Nashville who risked their lives to fight for equality. On this last day of Black History Month, News Channel 5's Matthew Torres explains how the power of song helped in the civil rights movement. Buses are coming, oh yes. Buses are coming, oh yes. In a city known for music as its form of entertainment. They are coming from Nashville, oh yes. They are coming from Nashville, oh yes. Songs were more of a battle cry during one of the most divisive times in U.S. history. State on freedom. And in the front line was Ernest Rip Patton, singing with no fear, even behind bars. State on freedom. They were like anthems in the fight for equality. We believed in song. We believed in music. We were organized. Nashville was a godsend movement. Patton, a college student in Nashville in the 60s, joined the civil rights movement. So I don't think people re actually realize what Nashville was like. From sit-ins to freedom rides, he remained calm through his faith and training in nonviolence. Yea, though I am on a Greyhound bus riding through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Like majority of freedom riders, Patton was put in prison. Mugshots of his fellow friends can now be seen as part of a new portrait gallery at Vanderbilt's E. Bronson Ingram College. It's a great reminder for me. Uh, it, it brings back a lot of memories. It keeps my mind fresh. It's a reminder of the role Nashville played in the movement as more people move here and as he inspires younger generations to make change. Violence doesn't solve anything. You cannot start a movement with a cell phone or a computer. As he himself stays on a ride. Ain't no harm to keep your mind. Stay on freedom. Where freedom is celebrated in song. Hallelujah. Matthew Torres, Hallelujah. News Channel 5. Patton is very active in the community and volunteers to speak to groups at the library. There's also a civil rights exhibition called We Shall Overcome at Robert Churchwell Magnet School through the end of the year before it moves to TSU in 2020.